This is the unboxing of the Allo Audio HPS S4R recording headphones. Yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful. These things are handmade by order in Slovenia, in Europe. Allo Audio markets these headphones and its open back brother, the S4, for mixing and mastering and studio use. Indeed, Allo emphasizes that their headphones have some of the flattest responses of any headphones on the market. They are specifically made to be neutral. Let's take a closer look. So when you buy a pair of headphones, typically what you get is a normal box that shows a picture of the item on the outside and some marketing material on the back and some copyright stuff and some contact information. But Allo Audio went the other extreme. They just provided you with a normal plain Jane cardboard box. And there's a stamp on one side saying that it's from Allo. That's it. There's nothing else designating this as a headphone, at least not from the outside. Once you are able to open this box, you're g greeted with a thank you sticker. Uh, kind of nice. And then you're greeted again with three pieces of paper. We'll take a look at those later. There are two packages inside the box. They're both wrapped in paper. The smaller one, as you begin to unwrap it, you will suddenly realize contains two items. The first item is the headphone cord itself, and the second is a pouch. Now, the headphone cord comes with a quarter inch adapter. That's because the termination into the source is three and a half millimeter. The cord itself is rather thin and light. Allo did something different. They wanted to go with their color scheme, which is white on red with a little bit of black. And so what they did with their cord is they used a red cord and then they covered most of it in black nylon of some sort. The red portion is rubber or coated with some sort of rubber type material. It ends in two and a half millimeter connections into your headphones. The three and a half millimeter connection to your source also has this little spring attachment to it so that you can relieve some of the tension. It's for the longevity, I, I suppose. The two and a half millimeter jacks there have left and right designations, but they're gray on gray, which makes reading them a little difficult. The pouch itself is rather not ostentatious. There's nothing here. It's just a pouch. There's no marketing, nothing. There's no logo. It's just a black pouch with pleather. And then here's the main event, the headphones. These two are wrapped in paper. Once you start unraveling this headphone, you're greeted with, well, something familiar and unique at the same time. The headphones have this headband that adjusts automatically. It, it's not padded, but that's not a problem because these headphones are relatively light. The headband itself is kind of reminiscent of Mr. Speaker's headphones, at least the ethers. They have that weird headband thing. The ear cups themselves are rather small, only about two knuckles worth. It will sit on your ear more than around your ear. These headphones are covered with walnut wood. And Allo says <laughs> this entire headphone can be taken apart by tools you have lying around at your home or you can easily find at your local hardware store. There's nothing ostentatious. Again, this pair of headphones is just simple to look at. And frankly, I've seen some hideous headphones and these headphones, they're not hideous in my opinion. The left and right jacks Here's the thing, the headphone itself doesn't seem to designate left or right, so because I couldn't find anything, I assume that it's kind of like being amphidextrous, meaning you can plug left or right anywhere, just make sure you're wearing left and right on your head. Plugging in these headphones, well, they're unique. They are definitely flat. They have this kind of energetic sound without emphasizing anything really it just is a rather neutral sound signature some of the material that Allo sent you is a warning card that tells you what not to do with these headphones don't press down on the headphones don't lay them flat and pr apply pressure things of that nature they also provide you with this 
a frequency chart for these very headphones. These were tested and tuned, and there's a signature on the bottom of that page saying, yeah, this person tested it. That's a relatively flat response rate, flatter than most headphones out there, especially most that say we are reference class headphones. The final pamphlet is just a normal pamphlet that tells you about safety and features and sound and all the parameters of the headphone, including some warranty information. And at the very end, the last page, you have the serial number. Now back to that sound. It's interesting. I purchased these headphones, the S4R, to compete with the Neumanns because the Neumanns marketed have been marketed as reference class headphones, and yet I don't believe that they are. I found the Allo Audio, and I have to say, upon first listen, they certainly sound flat. They sound neutral, but with a little bit of energy. It's an interesting mix. Allo Audio currently sells these headphones for 289 euro, which is about $300 American. They're on sale currently because previously they were 340, 49 euro. You can buy these from Allo's website only, and in fact, if you don't have all the money at once, they will allow you to do it in installments. You pay down, I think, 100 euro at first, and then about 15 euro a month until you pay off the headphones. Overall, not bad. <laughs>